Hi there, folks. I'm Kevin Tracy, and today we're going to be coloring page... Is this page 5 of the MS Paint comic, Painting North Korea Red? I think it's page 5. So we're doing page 5 of the MS Paint comic, Painting North Korea Red. If you're interested in coloring along, you can find the coloring book at ktracy.com or on Amazon if you want to try saving on shipping. Although, I'll warn you now, I can't sign it if you buy it on Amazon, but it's a coloring book, so what do you care? Get it wherever it's cheaper for you. Anyways, today we're going to be using pastel color pencils. That's these things right here. I picked these up from Hobby Lobby for $39.99 with the idea that I would use a Allen wrench to try opening it because I am unprepared to open this any other way. Huh. Okay, there we go. You know, I'm an artist. You think I'd have something sharp and pointy to open this with, but no, you know, I can use Allen wrenches in my fingers. You might be wondering, why do you have Allen wrenches in your office, Kevin? And it's a great question. I don't really have an answer. I have no idea where those came from. This is the color pencil set. I have not opened this yet. This is the first time. We'll uh, go ahead and pop this open. I've never used pastel colored pencils before. And so far it looks like more styrofoam than pastel, but that's okay. Okay. All right. So these are literally just pastels that are longer than normal pastels okay and this comes out and i have more down here okay cool so ooh, this has a smell to it whoa this smells like burning crap holy cr oh my goodness whoa it, it smells like somebody lit a turd on fire outside my window did anybody leave a turd outside my window i don't see anybody out there whoa it has to be this. Wow! Okay, that has a smell to it. Oh, where was this made? Oh, whoa! I don't know if I can use these. Holy crap! Oh, man! Made in China. Okay, so that's what China smells like. Oh, my... What? What is this? Is this a plastic in here? Yep. Whoa! Oh! 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 Oh, man! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is disgusting! Oh, oh man! Oh man, it's definitely the box and the, the this plastic foam stuff that everything came wrapped in. Oh my god! Stand by one minute. Okay, today we're going to be doing a product review of this Israeli gas mask. The smell is terrible over here. Oh man! This is a new air filter. This didn't. Whoa, man! Let's get this thing out before I die of fumes. Yo, oh, man, that was just. That was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. So this will be the first time I do an artwork with a gas mask on. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> I got this at Hobby Lobby. This is master's touch. It's this plastic stuff right here. Or is that not plastic, but styrofoam type bendy material, the rubber stuff. And it is it smells absolutely god awful. Now by rights, I do have a beard. By rights, for this to be a true seal, if this was mustard gas colored pencils or something, I would uh, have to shave my beard in order to use this gas mask in order not to die. But I have a pretty good seal here, it feels like, so I'm gonna go ahead and just run with this the way that it is. Oh my gosh, it, I can't believe, I cannot believe how terrible, I can't, words can't describe how terrible this smells. It smells like, the, the, it smells like these are made out of actual shit that was burned and I wonder if I should be wearing gloves while using these. Anyways, it does say that these are oil-free, fine, soft pastels used to achieve both painting and drawing techniques. Rich, undiluted pigment for intense color that does not fade over time. Velvety texture promotes luminosity. Highly portable medium requires minimal setup and cleanup. For what it's worth, it does say this does conform to ASTM D4236, which we talked about in the previous video, which I do believe means that it's non-toxic. We're going to go ahead and get drawing page 5. Thankfully, this is a smaller page, so the smell isn't going to be an issue for long. Man, okay. So the first problem I'm having right off the bat is this thing right here. 
is really affecting my ability to see. I have a very small field of vision with these small little glass holes on here. With that said, let's go ahead and get going. All right, let's roll up the sleeves here. Man, I, can't, I cannot believe how bad these smelled. Well, now that the mask is off and the Chinese chemical weapons have been safely stored away, I thought I'd give a brief product review of how these performed. I mean, I've dedicated the first half of this video to just the smell, so it's only right I talk about the performance a little bit since I won't be reviewing these on Friday. Let me first state that this is my first pastel experience in over 20 years, so the comparative elements of this review are based on my dated experience with traditional pastels, not these pastel-colored pencils. And overall, as the box said, these did lay down color very smoothly and they did blend very easily. However, otherwise I was just unimpressed. These pastel colored pencils are really hard. And as a result, they don't put down the vibrant colors advertised on the box. The p colors also didn't particularly lay layer very well, which was problematic since the colors were very transparent, at least on this 100 pound cardstock paper I'm using here. I did like the fact that they're hard in the sense that I never had to worry about breaking them with my heavy hand in this, but the trade-off is that they just don't put a lot of pigment down on the paper. When I blended some of the colors together with my fingers, which I know I shouldn't do, but I do it anyways, barely any of the color even came off onto my finger, and that tells me just how little pigment is actually making it off of these Master Touch pastel colored pencils. But on the bright side, my hands didn't look like they got puked on by a unicorn, when I was done using these things, so it's definitely cleaner. The little color that did go down did have a wonderful matte finish to it, which is unlike uh, normal colored pencils and even some pastels that I've used in the past, which can tend to be glossy or waxy. And I did like these a heck of a lot more than those terrible Crayola twistable colored pencils I used for the first page. Another thing I didn't like about this set was the color selection. I found out after I took the mask off that the lenses did have a, the effect of kind of desaturating and shifting the hue of the colors a little bit. So some of the problems I thought I was having with Caucasian skin tones were really non-issues, but there is a serious lack of brown in this set. Now granted, typically I imagine when you're doing pastel work, you probably don't use browns all that often. But the closest thing they offered to a solid brown was a really dull grayish brown, which I used for the podium, and a red brown, which I used for Teddy Roosevelt's hair. And neither color were, was the color that I really wanted to use for either of those things. So if you're planning on doing portraits of darker skinned individuals, you'll need to either forget realism altogether, just throw it out the window and go with some crazy super bloom style colors or just get another set of pastels. Between the horrible smell, the lack of vibrant color and the weird color palette, I certainly can't recommend these for the recommended $34.99 price tag that these come with. Even if you use a Hobby Lobby 40% off coupon and get these for $20.99, it's still not something I'd recommend. If you can find these for $12 maybe, then go ahead and pick them up and then use that money you saved to buy yourself a gas mask and some packaged air filters from an Army Navy surplus store. You'll be happy you did as soon as you opened the box. Anyways, I'm Kevin Tracy from ktracy.com reviewing the Master Touch Pastel Colored Pencils and coloring page 5 of the MS Paint comic Painting North Korea Red, a coloring book adventure. If you want to see what this finished page looks like in more detail, I have a link to the webcomic in the description below, as well as a link as to where you can get a copy of this coloring book. I post new videos every week of me reviewing products, making art, and creating things in my workshop, so if you enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button and consider joining our growing community. Thanks for watching, and have a great week.